Hi everyone, it's me Leslie here with another video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Today I'm doing a story time discussion to talk a little bit about hidden insecurities. So when I was growing up, I used to always sneak into my mom's closet and try on her high heels. Fast forward to my 20s, I, my high heels and I were inseparable. I would, wear, I would wear them every day, all the time, with my jeans, with my skirts. I felt like um, they made every outfit better. In my 30s, something changed. I moved abroad and I was living in Indonesia for a few years. And while I was over there, I was still religiously wearing my high heels. And they were so impractical where I was. I was falling all over the place. I have scars on my knees to prove it. And what I discovered while I was living there was that without the high heels, I felt less attractive. I felt less than. I didn't feel good enough. Not only that, my foot was becoming scarred up from wearing them. I had corns on my pinky toes and on the back of my heel on both, both feet, I had a really dark line um, where, um, where the heel is. I started getting a dark line from all the rubbing. Not only were they damaging my feet, corns and scars, they were hard on the body and without them, I didn't feel like I was good enough. I was using them as a crutch for confidence. I was using them as a crutch to feel more secure in myself. And when I stopped wearing them as much, I realized that flats are very comfortable. <laughs> and there are a lot of what a lot of flat shoes that are not only comfortable but beautiful. Beautiful sandals, really cute flip-flops and all of that. It's been years since I wore um heels and I'm not really sure if I'll ever wear them again. I'm not going to ride them off. I'm not going to say I'll never wear high heels again. But what I am saying is I haven't worn them in years, and now I realize that they used to be a crutch to make me feel more secure in myself as an attractive woman and as a, as a beautiful woman. Another thing I used to do was I always used to wear some kind of like um, ponytail, like, um, bang, or I would always wear my hair out because with my hair back, I felt too exposed and I didn't feel as attractive. So these are a couple of my hidden, or they were hidden. These are just a couple of the insecurities that I had that I've released. What are some of your subconscious insecurities? Or what are some of your insecurities that you're hiding from others? Or what are some insecurities that you, you've hidden from yourself? What are the things that you would be terrified if somebody found out? What are some of the things that you do for yourself or to yourself that make you feel like you're enough? Because what I'm really just trying to, to get at here, and I don't think I've made that clear yet, what I'm really trying to get at is what are those hidden insecurities? What are those subconscious insecurities? What are the things that you keep deep down inside that you never want anybody to know? And that you, and, and it's something that you cover with a physical mask, with like a physical thing. I was wearing heels. 
I was wearing my hair on all the time. I was always wearing like a bang or something. What are the things that you do to try to make it look like you've got it all together? What is that thing that you do or those things that you do that make you believe, make you feel like everything's good now? Now I've got nothing to work on because now, now I've got this on and now I've got this on and now, and this is what it takes confidence. This is what confidence looks like. This is what attractiveness looks like. This is what the best me looks like. What I'm saying is material objects and the way we physically appear to others is only a mask. It's not real and it's not real confidence and it's not real security. And I'm saying that the goal is to strip ourselves down figuratively and find what it is that's, that's letting us, allowing us to hide. What are we hiding behind? Are we hiding in our heels? Are we hiding with our great hair? Are we hiding in our expensive clothes? Are we, are we hiding in our expensive car? Are we hiding with our expensive home? Are we hiding with our, our expensive cats or dogs? Or, you know, are we hiding behind a big bank account? Are we hiding behind, um, the makeup, the nails, what are we, what are you hiding behind? What am I hiding behind? What are we hiding behind so that we can tear it down and build ourselves a strong, true foundation of confidence and security. The goal is to find out what is the truth within ourselves so that we can be a positive, influential light upon the world. None of the phony stuff, only the real stuff. What are we hiding behind? We need to find that out so that we can work on ourselves so we can build ourselves a strong foundation and become that shining light, that guiding light that is so desperately needed in the world. So if you're anything like me, stop hiding in those heels. Stop hiding behind that great hair. We need to see the real you. And I need to show the real me. So that we all feel less alone in this world that can be so harsh and so difficult. The goal is to stop hiding and to truly love who we really are without the show. What show are you putting on? I know I was putting on a show. And I know there's still things I need to work on within myself. The goal is to find out what it is that you're hiding from and find a way to fix it. And then help others fix yourself, get a strong foundation, and then find a way to help others. So that's where I'm going to end this video today. 
Thank you all so much for watching my video. And until next time, bye.